Hello, I'm Herb Fuchs with BaseNet TV about Boston. Today we're here at the Hat Shell on the Esplanade on the banks of the Charles River in Boston. Best known for its 4th of July fireworks and uh, Boston Pops presentation. But today we're here for a much more important reason, the 2012 Boston American Heart Association Walk to raise funds to achieve the goal of decreasing deaths from heart disease by 20% by the year 2020. Fully one-third of the people in this country today are affected by heart disease and we're going to be speaking to a number of the walkers today as well as the sponsors and volunteers to find out their personal stories of what brought them here today. If you're getting ready to do the two-mile walk, I think we can get you kind of move in that direction. Here's for our two-milers in three, two, And your name is? Tiago Afonso. And Diablo, is this your first year walking in the Heart Walk? Yes, it is. Yes, my first year. I'm doing it for my mother, Sedalia Afonso, who passed away uh, on April 20th of uh, 2010. I'm very, very sorry to hear that. From, from heart disease? Yeah, from heart disease. That's right. So we can get that started. How far do you plan to walk today? Well, today we plan on walking two miles. This is the first time we've done this particular heart walk. Yep. Same thing? Yes. What distance are you going to try to walk today? Six miles. Six miles. Six miles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same. You think you're going to make it? Oh, oh yeah. Definitely. Have, have you been practicing? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Great, great. What, what, what brings you here today? What personal uh, connection do you have to today's event? To, uh, a year ago in September, my dad passed away from heart disease, so we're walking in his memory. Yeah. Anyone in your family or any of your friends been treated for heart disease? Uh, well, I mean, it's not, it's not just about me and like my family. It's about helping others, too, right. even if it hasn't, even if I can't like connect directly. I mean, I can, I can like, see, I can, I can feel the pain that others feel, even though like I don't directly feel it, or I don't know anyone that directly feels it. Ali Rufo. And you are? Kaya Gorin. And you are volunteers here at the Heart Walk today. Is this your first year doing the Heart Walk? First year, yes. Yep. Okay. And um, what made you want to be here today? Do you folks have any special connection to people that have uh, had heart problems or just want to help out? For us, we're just helping out. We're on the exec board for Emanuel College Community Outreach at our college, so we're leading a service trip here today. Yeah, so we're just doing anything we can just to help out in the community, and we thought this would be a great opportunity for everybody. So uh, what, what role have they assigned you today? What have you been doing? We work at the Healthy Snacks tent. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yep, we've been serving muffin tops all morning. Muffin tops, yes. <laughs> And and uh, did you sneak a bite of a few of them just just to be sure they were okay for the for the folks? Well, of course, we had to taste test them. Yep, I had to. <laughs> you got on board with a shirt and you're down here and 100%. Yeah. Oh, drag my son along. Nice. Can't do. Can't do. <laughs> did he really drag you? What what what's your name? Taria. I'm the, I'm her grandmother, Taria. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, are you going to be walking or just watching the kids? No, we're going to all walk, including the kids. Including the kids. Oh, wow. Wow. That's, did you do that last year? We did, yeah. We do it every year. Any of you have a strong personal connection to heart disease? Somebody in your family and, and really just, you know, you're here for them today. My daughter, she's four years old. She was born with um, truncus arteriosus. It's a rare congenital heart defect that only affects about 10, one out of every 10,000 children born a year. Um, they didn't catch it in utero. They caught it when she was a week old and she was already in congestive heart failure. So when she was 11 days old, she had her first open heart surgery. At four months old, she had a heart catheterization done. And just three weeks ago, we were in Boston Children's and had another heart catheterization. Wow. You, uh, th this is very close, obviously. And uh, uh, how is she doing? 
Uh, she's doing great. You know, she's going to need more surgeries. Uh, what it looks like now is between one and two years before her next open heart. But obviously, the longer we can stretch it out, the better. But she's already exceeded expectations so far. You going to walk today? Yeah. yeah. Are you all ready? Have you been practicing? Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Faithy. And how old are you? Uh, four. Four. Wow. Well, you look like you're all ready for the rain, too. That's a pretty nice rain jacket that you've got there. Colleen O'Brien. And I'm Megan O'Brien. Must be related. We are. Oh, okay. So, what brings you here today? I'm with Boston Scientific, and this has been our fourth walk together. American Heart Association of Massachusetts funded $38 million last year to help reach their goal of reducing deaths from heart disease, stroke, and cardiovascular disease 20% by the year 2020. Interesting facts about heart disease. One person dies every 28 seconds in the United States. Over 800,000 people a year from heart-related diseases. Heart disease is the number one killer of women. More than all forms of cancer combined. And heart disease is the most common cause of infant death from birth defects. And your name is? Mike Devlin. Mike, what, what brings you here today? What personal connection do you have to, to heart disease? Uh, I work for Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare Foundation, and the single focus of our foundation is on childhood obesity prevention. So I think there's a direct correlation between good health at young ages and heart disease down the road. So it makes sense for us to be here. Absolutely. Um, is this your first walk, or have you, do you do this every year? Yeah, I've done it for a couple of years now. We have a very special guest with us today, Mr. Bill Lee former Red Sox player. Good morning. Good morning. What a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And why is this day special to you, Bill? Well, uh, it's anytime you walk. My great-grandfather was 99 years old, and he had a constitutional walk every morning. And I believe that walking and eating a very light breakfast and then having a nice lunch and taking a nap is how to do it. And I'm going to do it that way. And my 99-year-old grandmother did it that way. And that's what it's all about. It's eat the right foods, have a little exercise, and don't stop thinking about tomorrow. <laughs> great, great advice. Is this your first year being involved with the walk, Bill? It is, it is. And next year I'm going to be here in the Tin Man outfit of Wizard of Oz, and I'm going to be here looking for a heart. Well, I'd say you've got good genes, it sounds like, so you very well may be here for a number of years. My Levi's aren't bad either. <laughs> Hi, and your name is? Sharon Cohen. I'm with Brigham and Women's Hospital. And you're a volunteer here today. Um, how many years have you been doing this walk? This is my sixth year walking at the Heart Walk. Sixth year. And do you actually walk too, or are you just with the sponsor at the, at the booth here? Uh, past couple of years, I haven't gotten out of the tent. I just came back from doing the one-mile loop, so this, it's great to be walking again and also helping out with the Brigham. Okay. And do you have any um, personal connection to heart disease that might make this day extra special to you? There is a lot of heart disease in both my family and my husband's family, and it's really important that we live healthy lives and take care of ourselves so that we can live long, healthy lives and hopefully avoid the heart disease that has been in both of our families. And if there was one recommendation that you could have for our viewers in terms of how they can help with this cause, you know, what, what might it be? Uh, just, you know, get on the AHA website, see all of the information and education material that's on there and learn about how you can take care of yourself. Uh, there's just a lot of resources out there that AHA makes available and if you're able to support AHA, that's great too, but really um, just knowing what's out there and taking advantage of what they have to offer is a great start. Well, thank you very much for your energy here today. And Jeremy, what's your uh, role here today at the walk? Um, I'm giving out uh, hats for all the uh, red, uh, the heart, anyone who's had uh, heart disease or stroke that are survivors today. They're all wearing them, as you can see, all over the place here. Yeah. Hi, and your name is? My name is John Pomford. And John, I see that you're a red cap survivor. Um, you want to tell us a little bit about your story? And 
Yeah, about six years ago, I had a uh, bypass, a single bypass done, and uh, had it had it done. Come back to the ICU, and I redlined. So uh, fortunately, there was a heart surgeon walking by me, and reopened my chest right in the room, right in the ICU. Uh, put a ECMO machine on me, right right in the ICU, and later on that night, brought me back down for a second bypass. So uh, I had two in one day, but if it wasn't for the great doctors at uh, Beth Israel, uh, in particular Dr. Kabaz, who did the second operation on me and who happened to be near my room. Wow, that's uh, how long ago was that? That's six years ago now. And so how are you? And how? Year. Every year since then. Every year, I don't miss this. And you walk how long? How far are you going to walk? Well, I'm going to try to do uh, three or four miles if I can. Okay. We'll see how that goes. Okay. And how are you feeling? Great. Really? Great, yep. Really? That's excellent. And if there's one message that you might want to give to our viewers in terms of what they could do to help in the prevention and cure of, of this awful disease, um, what, what might that be? Well, walking is a, is a great uh, help to me and, and uh, obviously eating properly and, uh, and I think those are basically the two things that I would send out. Well, a very uh, interesting morning here on the Esplanade in Boston, speaking with a number of the walkers and volunteers. What struck me was that everybody had a connection to heart disease, either themselves or knowing people, friends and family that have had heart disease. So the fact about one out of three people being affected by heart disease in this country I think is certainly very accurate. Um, the other interesting thing that I, I, I took from today is people basically talking about all of the preventative things that people can do to prevent heart disease. And in that sense, I think we all uh, can take out of the segment today a lesson and um, an effort to try to keep fit and do all of the things that the experts tell us to do. From the banks of the Charles River at the Hat Shell American Heart Association Walk, I'm Herb Fuchs reporting about Boston.